Hey guys, so I wanted to tell you the story of how I, Megan Lavoda, quit drinking Diet Coke and how that changed my life. And now this might just seem like really dramatic and like clickbaity or something, but I swear to God that quitting Diet Coke changed my life and here's why, it's because it taught me that I can do whatever I set my mind out to do. So, backstory here. When I was 12 years old, I really liked uh, soda in general, but my parents didn't let me have any. So, about when I was 12, whenever my mom stopped being a stay-at-home stay mom, and I went, I was in middle school, um, I got home before my mom did. And so that means that I was able to uh, drink some of their Diet Coke that they had in the fridge uh, before they got home. And so basically, that's what I started doing. Like ever since I was 12, I started drinking Diet Coke like a fucking fiend. And I would drink like six, I got up to the point, especially when I was 16, there was basically no going back. I had my car and so I could just drive and um, I can drink as much Diet Coke as I wanted. So, um, oops. Um, so it got up to the point where I drank like six a day. And in high school, my friends like got me Diet Coke for my birthday. I was, it was like a joke, like I would show up like a little late and I'd have a Diet Coke and be like, oh, Megan and your Diet Coke, you're so hilarious. Everyone thought it was so adorable and, you know, it was just like part of my identity. I was the Diet Coke girl. Um, I drank it all the time. It was just, I didn't drink alcohol in high school, so it was my thing. But in college, I began to understand how expensive that is, um, how much Diet Coke that is. And you know, people would tell me to stop or tell, people tell me I was gonna die of cancer, and I'd be like, well, standing in the sun also makes you die of cancer, so basically I'm fucked. And I'd be like, oh, well, uh, there's so many uh, different chemicals in the air that's gonna give me cancer too, so might as well just die happy, right? That was my logic. But the thing is, is that the only thing that made me quit Diet Coke was my own desire to do so. So, before I didn't actually have a desire, and so that's why I wasn't able to get off of it. Um, I didn't think it was that big of a deal. I said, this is my vice, I'm gonna keep it. But, and I, and I had such a strong identity with being a person that drank Diet Coke that I didn't stop drinking it. Okay, I'm gonna have to really finish uh, this video fast because it's raining. Don't know why. I don't want it to rain. Um, basically, everyone told me that I shouldn't quit Diet Coke cold turkey, but it's basically what I did. For two weeks before I quit, I tried to do like one a day, and I was just tallying them just to notice uh, how much I was drinking. But the pure desire to want to quit, which by the way, I decided that I wanted to quit drinking Diet Coke because I felt like it was the one thing in my life that I was not in control of. I felt like it was in control of me. And that's what an addiction is. It doesn't matter if it's alcohol, if it's Diet Coke, or if it's fucking pizza. If something is in control of you, that's not good. You wanna be in control of yourself. You don't want another object to be in control of you. And so once I noticed that, that made me want to quit drinking Diet Coke. And once I able to, I did that, which I haven't drank it in like seven months now. Once I did that, it was able to really help me understand how many things in my life that I think are, well, that's just the way it is. It don't have to be that way at all. And that I actually am in control of. Diet Coke is one of those things that I did not think that I was in control of. I didn't think that I would ever change it. 
and the act of changing it made me believe all the things that I don't think are part of my identity now, I totally can change if I want. Like for example, I don't view myself as the type of person that would be going vegan. I don't view myself as the type of person that would be interested in business. You know, but I don't know. Sometimes there are things where it's like, that sounds interesting, but I don't think it's for me. Well, I think that getting rid of drinking Diet Coke has made me really open my mind to what for me even means and has allowed me to broaden that definition and realize how control I am of that definition. So if you're looking to change your life and if there are some roadblocks getting in the way of the life you want, I'm just here to say that no matter how ingrained it seems in your personality, you can always change it and don't underestimate how empowering that would be whenever you do decide to change it. So have a good weekend. Bye.